Hello everyone, my name is Grace Farrow. I'm a Solid Edge Applications Engineer here at ProLim PLM. And today we're going to talk about transforming a solid body in the sheet metal in Solid Edge 2019. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Solid Edge. I'm going to go and open an ANSI inch part. And I'm just going to create a pretty basic shape. I'm in synchronous right now, so it should be quite simple. And extrude it out. And I'm going to actually create a rectangle on top of my original rectangle. get this pretty basic L shape. So what I want is to create sheet metal that looks exactly like this model that I've created. So it would be a sheet metal file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to tools. I'm going to click the switch to button. Now we can see at the top that it was switched to sheet metal. So it went from a part file to a sheet metal file. Now the button that we want is only in ordered. So I'm going to go ahead and go into ordered. And go back into tools. And this is the command we're looking for, the part to sheet metal. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now here are the part to sheet metal options. We have our bend radius, we have our corner treatment, we have our relief, and those can be edited. But for right now, I'm okay with all this, so I'm just gonna click okay. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna start at my right hand side edge, and just go along the edges. So from here, I have these little red dots, and if I hover over those, it says click to override corner properties. So if I left click on those, I can actually create corner reliefs right here. Pretty easy. I'm going to just say this one's just a closed corner relief, and maybe I come over here, and this one's uh, an open. And right click to accept. And we can also extrude the material on the outside of the model we created, or on the inside. It's just based on personal preference and what you're using your sheet metal for. So this looks good to me. I'm just going to right click. And now I have a sheet metal part. Looks good. Awesome. So now I can actually go up here to flatten. I'm just going to select my top face and that appropriate edge. And as you can see here, there's a model. This is kind of just for reference, so I can actually right click that and hit hide. And then I have my flat pattern, um, all nice and pretty for everything. Looks good. I can actually go back into synchronous, turn my design body back on, come in here, grab this face, and extrude it. Then go back into my flat pattern and it will update. And just go ahead and hide that again. Looks great. Alright, guys, so this was transforming a solid body into sheet metal in Solid Edge 2019. I'm Grace Farrow. Hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Thank you.